Good afternoon, folks. Appalachian Cryptid Encounters here. Yeah, I recorded this footage back on Sunday, early morning hours. And uh, my little black dog, she did not want to come back in the house. And I, I would yell for her to come in the house, and she'd cower real low and walk toward me. And then and then she'd run back over toward the tree line. Then I'd have to yell for her again. She didn't want to leave the tree line. So I went, and she very, and she's only done that maybe once or twice. And uh, so I went and got the the flashlight out. I figured it was a Sasquatch, one of the the, the uh, juveniles playing with her. And I got the flashlight out and the camera. I put it on gir uh, burst mode so I could zoom in 5x. And look at this little juvenile I got leaning up against the tree. Now this juvenile. Look at that. If you look right here, uh, there is an adult right here, right behind the juvenile. And there's one right here. Two, two adults. So I'd say it's mother, father, right? Right here. Uh, maybe the eyes ain't that far up. The eyes right here on one of the parents is right there and this is just uh maybe a little juvenile on its back a baby on top of its head but right here's one of the parents pushed up uh leaned up sideways to the juvenile against the tree and then then right here's a little juvenile on this parent's back and then here's the uh other parent probably the father and then he's got a juvenile on his back. So that's a pretty uh, good-sized family of Sasquatch right there. That's uh, two adults with three children is what we got going right there. And this is just late at night. Um, I still got more images to go through and see uh, and see if I got more footage. I might have had a chance to go through it all. But man, look at that. You can see the definition on its mouth, on this juvenile's mouth. Look at this little fang teeth right there. You see its face, you can see its eyes right here. It's got its nocturnal shade lenses on. And then its nose, right? And its hairline. That, that juvenile has copper brownish hair is what he's got. Now, I had blasted them with the flashlight, and when I did that, it uh, it drowned out the the uh, color in their face because they're, they're right behind the vegetation. So the parent's uh, face was blasted with a bunch of light, so it didn't come in as well. But, uh, yeah, that's just amazing. Look at the definition on that on that young juvenile's face. Just amazing. I, now, I did enhancements to this image, which you can see uh, the other one of the other juveniles of the family on the back of the, the father right there uh, looking over my way. Now, they were in the shadows. That's the tree line right there. This little juvenile was right up to the edge of the tree line. That's why I was able to get the color of his hair and everything in the image. The rest of them were back in the shadows quite a bit, you know, standing right behind him. You know, the whole family was shadowed pretty good. But, uh, yeah, that's just amazing footage, man. Just amazing. Cannot believe I got that. And the definition on its face. This is not pareidolia, folks. Pareidolia is not going to give you this kind of imagery. It ain't going to happen. All right, I'm going to back this up. I'm going to take you to the original photo, which is right here. Well, that's a crop of the original photo, right? Here's the original photo. Um, that's the juvenile. He's got the parent holding him or coming to pick him up, one of the two. But he's bent right down there next head level to the child, so he has to be taking a knee or he's holding him holding him up in the air, um, but he's leaned up against that tree. Just amazing. Absolutely amazing. 
Anyways, I got more footage to go through that I recorded that night. I've, I've not had a whole lot of time to go through this footage. My my uh, my sister was life life flighted to Columbus, Ohio, with double pneumonia, and, and uh, so I've had to go out of town and and uh, uh, look, you know, go see my sister and whatnot. And, and uh, a lot of prayers. She's coming out of it. Thank God. And uh, but anyways, I'll get back to work this week. I got I got a lot of work to do on the channel, and uh, I'll get through that footage and and uh, we'll get it back up on the channel for everybody and see what else I got on this family here. And uh, I got some more footage of this family. I'll I'll do an update and I'll put it up on the channel. Anyways, I'd like to welcome all my new subscribers. I appreciate the hell out of all of you. And uh, if you find yourself coming back to my channel more than once and you've not yet subscribed, just hit the subscribe button, man. Help a, help a fella out. Appreciate you. Peace.